हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand a problem to find dt of t. Here, we need to find dt of t of the given sequence x of n, where a is less than one, and also we need to find the magnitude and phase. We know from the definition of dt of t, we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j. omega n now in place of x of n let us substitute a to the power of magnitude of n so we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity a to the power of magnitude of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n so here magnitude of n we can write it as a to the power of n For n value greater than or equal to zero, and it will be equal to a to the power of minus n for n value less than zero. Therefore, if we substitute these two values in this equation, we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to minus one a to the power of minus n exponential to the power of minus j omega. n plus summation of n is equal to zero to infinity a to the power of n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n. So what we have done? So here we have taken the summation from minus infinity to minus one since n value is less than zero. So less than zero, which is nothing but minus infinity to minus one. Here we have taken the value as a to the power of minus n. In the same way, summation is from zero to infinity because n value is greater than zero. If we say n value is greater than zero, which means it is from zero to infinity, the value is e to the power of n, which is substituted here. Now we can write the above equation as x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to minus one e inverse exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n plus summation of n is equal to zero to infinity e exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n. Now we can write this as x of omega is equal to. We can interchange the summation value. We can write the summation from n is equal to minus one to minus infinity. So we can write this as a inverse exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n. Plus summation of n is equal to zero to infinity, y exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n. Now we can write the above expression as x of omega is equal to. In the first term, let us make this limit of summation positive. So if we make that positive, so we can write that as summation of n is equal to one to infinity. We can write this term as one by e inverse exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n plus summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity e exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n so we can write the above equation as x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity if we take the inverse of this term we'll get e exponential to the power of j omega whole to the power of n plus summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity e exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n we know the formula summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity e to the power of n we can write it as e divided by 1 minus e and also we know summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity a to the power of n we can write it as 1 divided by 1 minus a let us use these two formulas in above equation we can write x of omega is equal to a exponential to the power of j omega divided by 1 minus a exponential to the power of j omega plus 1 divided by 
1 minus a exponential to the power of minus j omega. So we can write the above equation as x of omega is equal to if we take LCM as 1 minus a exponential to the power of j omega into 1 minus a exponential to the power of minus j omega. So we can write this as a exponential to the power of j omega minus a square plus 1 minus a exponential to the power of j omega. So we can cancel out first and last term in the numerator. Therefore, we can write x of omega is equal to 1 minus a square divided by 1 minus a into exponential to the power of j omega plus exponential to the power of minus j omega plus a square. So what we have done? We have multiplied these two terms and we have taken a as common in exponential term and we have obtained this expression. Now this term we can write in the form of cos. So we can write this as 1 minus a square all divided by 1 minus 2a cos omega plus a square. So this is the dt of t of the given sequence. Now let us find the magnitude. So we can write magnitude of x of omega is equal to. So let us take the numerator. Let us write square root of 1 minus a square whole square divided by let us write the denominator as square root of 1 minus 2a cos omega plus a square whole square. So this is the magnitude of given sequence. So to find the phase, so in the numerator as well as denominator, we don't have any imaginary term. So to find the phase, we need to write in the form of tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part. So in this equation, both in numerator as well as denominator, we don't have imaginary part. So imaginary part will be 0. So tan inverse of 0, it will be 0. So phase of the given sequence is equal to 0. So phase is 0. Now let us take the second problem where we need to find the dtft of the given sequence x of n and also we need to find magnitude and phase. So from the definition of dtft we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now in place of x of n let us substitute delta of 6 minus 3 n. We can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of 6 minus 3 n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n. In the problem they have given the delta function delta of 6 minus 3 n. So this value should be equal to 1 and it will be equal to 1 for 6 minus 3 n equal to 0. So if 6 minus 3 n is equal to 0 the given delta function will be equal to 1. So if we say 6 minus 3 n is equal to 0 n value will be equal to 2. So for n is equal to 2 the given delta function will be equal to 1. So we can write above equation as x of omega is equal to 1 into exponential to the power of minus j omega n for n value equal to 2. So if we substitute n value equal to 2 we will get x of omega is equal to exponential to the power of minus j 2 omega. So this is the dtft of the given sequence. Now this term we can write it as cos 2 omega minus j sin 2 omega. Therefore we can find the magnitude. Magnitude of x of omega is equal to square root of cos square 2 omega plus sin square 2 omega. So magnitude of x of omega will be equal to 1. Now let us find the phase. Let us take phase of x of omega will be equal to tan inverse of so imaginary part is minus sin 2 omega divided by cos 2 omega. So we can write this as 
phase of x of omega is equal to minus 2 omega. This is about problems on DTFT. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.